What is up everybody? Welcome to Perspective Gaming. I'm your host Flame078 logging in from the real world to give you perspective. Or more specifically, getting perspective. This video series tackles something that's been on my mind and I spell out my text. And then afterwards we have a discussion to help to better understand ourselves. Today's topic, let's dive in into what Fortnite is doing right. More specifically, let's dive into how they're doing earning rewards with their microtransaction system. Let's get to it. So Fortnite is clearly killing the game and everyone is on these games ish and I for one praise the game for doing a lot of things right or in terms of creating a fun game in the battle royale space. Though for me the debate of Battlegrounds and Fortnite is that I chose Battlegrounds because I enjoy that game more. That was my conclusion, that is what I've been doing for the past couple of weeks, a daily login to Battlegrounds while I occasionally log in to Fortnite. But in the middle of season 3 of Fortnite, I found myself having more daily logins for Fortnite. And this happened consecutively until the end of the season and to the beginning of this season. And I stepped back and I realized why. Fortnite does a lot of things right. And we clearly see that because of the world breaking records, the money being thrown in it, just the fact that this is such a buzz. So I wanted to personally examine what is going on with this game. And I found some interesting conclusion as to what is helping Fortnite be successful. So let's take a look. Playing on the computer all day and virtually ignoring his entire family. So first off, Fortnite very smoothly hooked me onto a gaming mechanic that I forgot I thoroughly enjoyed. Or at least recent games that I played didn't tug on this love. And that mechanic is grinding out missions to earn in-game progression awards. Now you may be thinking, isn't that just any progression system? Not quite, you know, achievements, doing certain amount of things in-game to unlock a cosmetic item, you know, playing the game to get something back. Not necessarily leveling up your character, Say for example, get 10 kills with blah. Those type of mechanics is what I'm talking about. And this all started back with Halo 3 and like Modern Warfare 2. These games I love going back into multiplayer time and time again to try to get that one skin, to try to get that one armor. Y'all remember the Hiyubasha armor in Halo 3? That ninja looking one? That armor was awesome and everyone wanted it. And we all went to forums and walkthroughs to figure out how to get that armor. But even other armors in that game, you knew by looking at a Halo Spartan what the player did to get them. And that for me was really cool. I love that part. Because I have to be honest, multiplayer only games or the multiplayer aspect of games, I tend to phase out a lot quirkier than most just because I don't like going back in all the time if I feel like I'm getting bored. But a good hook and system like that where that rewards you for playing the game or doing certain things will get me to play more. As time went on, games started to shift. You saw this mentality growing with different types of game. You all know what I'm talking about. The dreaded loot box system, the microtransactions invasion in our games. And for me, the first big hit was Halo 5. Like I mentioned, Halo 3 was a big thing when work, working cosmetics. Same thing with Halo 4 and all the other Halo titles. So Halo for me, I grew accustomed to being able to do that. When Halo 5 introduced the rec system and I realized that earning rewards was just a luck, it got me so pissed. I mean, a lot of people got pissed. Like, that system was hated for very good reasons. But it was just a trend that gaming was doing. Now the problem is, Myself and a bunch of gamers started thinking and lying to ourselves really if it's just cosmetic items Then I don't care if it's behind loot boxes, then I'll just pay and it's okay. It doesn't interfere with the game Well, you know how the saying goes you put a frog in boiling hot water It'll know to jump, but if you cook it slowly, it won't know it's dying and that's what happened with us. Cosmetic lonely loot boxes, oh no, it can't be that bad. Then what happened? Boom, loot boxes blew up and games started really messing up. Need for Speed, Shadow of War, Battlefront 2, just to name a few, had atrocious microtransaction loot box systems and people got pissed. It caused so much stir. Battlefront had to rehaul their system, so did Shadow of War. Now you have governments trying to make these things illegal. Like now, companies are afraid to do loot boxes. 
But what does this have to do with Fortnite? Like I said, and like everyone knows, Fortnite is a giant storm that has no end in sight. And it's a really good storm. I mentioned having this active sensation of logging in and grinding out for things, right? That's what Fortnite got me hooked into. I'm logging in to get these achievements. <clears throat> I'm doing my best to try to get to level 100 and earn those things that I want to see to make myself look cool and feel like I accomplished them. Season 3, I got close, but I started halfway through the season, so I missed out. Now in season four, I'm trying really hard finishing every battle pass challenge. And it's fun, it's addicting, and it gets me going. And I don't believe that's just a me thing. I think everyone likes to log into the game for a goal. And Fortnite does this very well. It's one of those addicting things in the video game loop that is worth getting right. Now I mentioned loot boxes because what I want to talk about next is Fortnite's monetization system. And I think it's one of the best out there. And once again, it is the reason why I think Fortnite is doing so well. The Battle Pass system does one thing that all gamers want. It gives us a choice. I personally love actually playing the game to get cosmetic stuff. That's what I grew up with. But this day and age, and with that shift in the gaming industry in the last decade or so, with microtransactions and loot boxes, this new generation of gamings are used to being able to like, oh, I want this cool pirate hat, I'll just throw money at it until I get it. And that's what younger gamers are used to. Now, I'm not saying that that part is right or wrong, I'm just saying that's how I feel the current state of gaming is. It's just a fact. You want it, just buy it. Fortnite allows gamers like me to grind out levels, but it also allows gamers who are used to just throwing their credit cards and money at the game to get what they want too. We have options. No matter how you play, you get to play how you want. And I mentioned these two things because I think those are the extremes. People who like to work and play the game to get the reward, and people who spend money to get whatever they want. And I think everyone else falls somewhere in, in the middle. The world will know what you're doing here. The world? The world will approve. We can make you now. Don't you get it? We don't need you anymore. That was cruel. Fortnite is killing the need to have loot boxes. Yeah, there's no other way around it. That's what I believe. Why? It's simple. No matter if you like to pay to get cool things or work for them, all gamers have one thing they really love doing, and that is getting that one thing you saw no matter what. There's a cool skin you want, you can get it. And that's how we all feel, that's how all gamers love doing in one way or another. You know that feeling when you earn the Hiyubasha armor? In Halo 3, do you remember earning your first real earned cosmetic skin or like achievement, how good it felt? The reward system is a very simple system. Do something, get something. You receive what you want, no bullshit. No spinning some random number to maybe get what you want. No opening packs like a dumbass and spending money to hopefully one day get what you want. So again, I pose the question, why do we need loot boxes? Go back to a game that has a loot box in it. For example, Overwatch. Now when I log into that game, I feel disgust and kinda angry that I ever allowed the system to be okay in my mind. I log into PUBG and I am furious of how this system works. Just on Xbox when I was doing the test servers, I opened up 100 crates to get like tons of duplication and not everything that I could ever want was unlocked. And that is bullshit from a hundred crates that give you one item. And on PC, it's even worse. Now, because they have certain crates that are tied behind a key that you gotta pay two bucks for, oh, it is disgusting. It is manipulative. It is the worst thing. I see no reason for any future game to have loot boxes. And it looks like big game titles are going to do just that. This monetization model fits very well with what new gamers come to expect without deterring old heads like me. The video game loop of grinding levels without feeling cheated is something to be praised and should be in games. Give me a reason to log back into the game and let me earn stuff that you have. That is something that I ask for in games. Just let me do that. Don't let me hide behind the stupid ass microtransaction system or loot boxes or whatever. Just let me play the game and get what I want. Fortnite is a juggernaut and it is for a reason. I know I'm linked to the bandwagon, but hey, Better late than never, right? And that's it guys, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for tuning in for this installment of Kidding Perspective. What are your thoughts? My question for you 
is do you think it will be acceptable to have Fortnite's monetization model with, say, a $60 release? Does this model fall flat on its face if it's not a game that's free to play? What kind of gamer are you? And if you are hooked to Fortnite, why? Let me know all this and more in the comment section down below. If you like this video, please hit that like button and share it with your friends. If you like the content here, please party up with me and by hitting that subscribe button and getting weekly videos. Also, if you have a Twitter, please follow my handle as there is where I post my thoughts, do polls about video topics, and give content release updates. So it is really the best way to know what's going on here on this channel. So once again, thank you for watching This is Perspective Gaming. I'm your host, Flame078, logging out for now, and until next time, adios!